Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee have leaked online. The inner workings of the game's brand new mechanics, gym leaders, static encounters, every single tiny thing that you guys could think of has been data mined and leaked online through said data miners. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new shiny hunting method in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. It goes without saying, this is not a spoiler free zone. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, click off now. Everything data mined within this video comes courtesy of Kafotix, a very, very well-renowned data miner within the Pokemon community. He was one of the team that data mined Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Very well-renowned data miner. Any footage of Let's Go that you see in this video was recorded by me, courtesy of the Pokemon Company and Nintendo UK. Massive thank you goes to them for giving me that opportunity. Let's actually delve into these leaks shall we and actually show you guys how you can shiny hunt in let's go pikachu and let's go eevee the shiny rate is exactly the same as generation 7 and generation 6 a 1 in 4096 rate based on pokemon spawning in the overworld any pokemon that spawns in the overworld has this chance of actually being shiny so Pretty low odds, but there are a lot of things you can do within this game that is going to make it a lot easier to find shiny Pokemon in the overworld. Now, it should be noted that this shiny hunting method is only for Pokemon you see on routes. It's not going to apply for static encounters like Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, Snorlax, stuff like that. Pokemon that either block your way or you find in dungeons. Semi-related, it has all but been confirmed the legendary Pokemon, Pokemon like Snorlax, Pokemon like that, aren't actually shiny locked in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. You are going to be able to shiny hunt for them. Though the method I'm going to talk about in this video isn't going to apply to them. It's only going to apply to Pokemon that spawn in the overworld. And this method that I'm going to talk to you guys about is a method called catch chaining. Something I have actually showcased in part 3 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. That was uploaded roughly a month ago. An NPC in the game say if you keep catching the same species of Pokemon over and over, you'll have a better chance of meeting a really strong one. If you can keep it going, I hear you'll be more likely to run into shiny Pokemon. On screen right now is footage from the third episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, when I was invited to the Pokemon Company's offices to play and record these games early and upload it for you guys. In this video, I stumble upon a mechanic called Catch Combos. You could see it very briefly on screen right there. In this video, I speculated whether or not this would have any significance to shiny hunting or whether it was just a method to get more experience from capturing your Pokemon or whether it would have any significance in terms of maybe getting better IVs like it, like SOS chaining was in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, etc, etc. It turns out that yes, catch combos are going to be the way that you can chain four shiny Pokemon and Pokemon with better IVs in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. After you capture a Pokemon, this little Pokedex screen is going to appear with the number of, say, Pidgey that you've caught, as well as the species of Pokemon, stuff like that. And after you capture the same species of Pokemon multiple times in a row, it is going to begin counting a catch combo. As you can see right now, I caught three Pidgey in a row. As you can see on screen, this was the third Pidgey that we caught in a row until I pretty much gave up, not really knowing what the mechanic was actually going to be about. I wanted to get to Pewter City, so I pretty much stopped my catch combo right there. But it turns out that yes, this is the shiny hunting method for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And it is incredibly, incredibly easy to do. All you need to do is run into the same Pokemon again and again. Say, for example, you're on Route 1. You can encounter a Pidgey, capture that. Run into another Pidgey, capture that again. 
run into another Pidgey, capture that again, you get the idea, I'm being nonsensical. Keep capturing the same Pokemon again and again. If you, say, run into a Rattata, that is going to break your catch chain, so you'll have to avoid other Pokemon on the route to be able to perform this method. This is going to be an incredibly easy shiny hunting method and I'm going to show you the odds in just a second. So what are the actual odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon in the overworld performing this method? Oh my life, the odds are dramatically, significantly increased if you perform capture combos. Let's actually go into the details right here. If you perform a capture combo of 11, as you can see right here, the odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon are going to be doubled. Doubled. Which is absolutely incredible because capturing 11 Pokemon is incredibly quick and easy in Let's Go. That's insane. What is even more insane is that the Pokemon you capture on the 11th chain is going to have four perfect IVs. This is unprecedented in the Pokemon series. This is going to be the easiest way of obtaining competitive Pokemon ever in the Pokemon series, especially when you account for the synchronization feature, the nature synchronization feature in Let's Go, where if you go to Celadon City Pokemon Center and speak to an NPC, they are going to for a fee, make it so every single Pokemon you encounter is going to have a specific nature of your choosing. So you can just simply pay this NPC to make it so every single Pokemon you encounter has an adamant nature, for example. What's even more insane is that the 21st Pokemon you capture on your catch combo and every single Pokemon you capture thereafter is going to have their odds of being a shiny tripled. A 1 in 1300 roughly chance of running into a shiny Pokemon in the overworld. It gets even better than that as the 21st Pokemon you capture is also going to have five perfect IVs and if you manage to capture the same Pokemon 31 times in a row and every single Pokemon you capture thereafter the odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon is going to be quadrupled to roughly 1 in 1000 and they're going to have perfect IVs across the board which is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't even matter if you're a shiny hunter. It doesn't matter if you could care less about shiny hunting. If you're into the competitive metagame, catch combos are going to be your best friend in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, as this is going to be the only method of obtaining Pokemon with perfect IVs across the board. If you want to use, for example, a Nidoking in your competitive team, all you're going to have to do is go to Celadon City to synchronize the nature. For example, if you want a timid Nidoking, all you're going to have to do is just ask the lady to make it so every single Pokemon you encounter has the timid nature. Go to Route 22, chain, capture 31 Nidoran males, and then you're going to have a flawless 6 IV, well 631 IV, Nidoran male. And who knows, you might even run into a shiny Pokemon along the way. This is absolutely insane. It has never been easier to obtain competitively viable Pokemon in the Pokemon series. And this is also going to be a really fun way to encounter shiny Pokemon. It's not just mindless like SOS chains are. Something that's popped up while editing this video, something important to note as well, in the top left hand corner of the encounter screen, it'll also tell you your catch combo, which is a really nice minor quality of life little thing to showcase. You'll never lose track of your catch combo, which is fantastic. It should also be noted that the shiny charm is obtained from the game director, which I believe should still be located in Celadon City after completing the Pokedex. This excludes Mew, so don't worry. If you want to complete the Pokedex, you're not going to have to buy the Pokeball Plus. You're just going to have to capture every single Pokemon that's in the game or transfer them from Pokemon Go like I'm planning to do. That does not include Mountain either. So don't worry about that. The shiny charm should still 
increase the odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon by roughly four times. So that's really freaking awesome on top of the capture combos. It means all in all, once you capture 31 of the same species of Pokemon in a row, you'll have roughly a 1 in 250 chance of running into that specific Pokemon's shiny model in the overworld. Absolutely insane. And don't worry, it is going to be incredibly easy to see a shiny Pokemon in the overworld. You shouldn't accidentally miss it on screen right now. You can see what it looks like to encounter a shiny Pokemon in the overworld. They will sparkle, they will glisten. Should be quite easy, even if the Pokemon's shiny form is just a slightly, I don't know, darker or dimmer shade of the same colour. That the normal Pokemon is. As I finish off the video, I'm just going to leave footage of me actually performing a catch combo on screen right now. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have a like, would be really, really appreciated. Subscribe so you don't miss any more of my future Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee videos. On the channel, I'm going to be covering absolutely everything when the games are released in just under a week from now i'm really looking forward to shiny hunting and let's go pikachu let's go eevee i'm going to be live streaming a ton and yeah i hope you guys are looking forward to it too i hope you guys have found this video useful i will see you guys in my next video probably tomorrow see you guys then peace out